In today's video, we are going to be upgrading and replacing the body control module on this Ram 1500 pickup truck. This is gonna be similar for any of the newer Mopar, Dodges, anything from 2013 and up. Pretty much uses similar controllers. So here is the body control module. This is what it looks like even in our Helcota with the 2019 Dodge Charger wiring. It's the exact same looking unit. So we're gonna upgrade this. Again, this is a 14, this is a 2016 part number. So before we get into the physical change, we're gonna use Alpha OBD on our PC. You can also use it on a tablet. So either Android or PC, you can do this with. And what we have here is our OBD MX Plus plugged in there. So it is a Bluetooth dongle and I have it connected to Alpha OBD. So right here is where you're gonna need to be which i'll show you guys in just a second so first things first i'm sure if you guys are doing this you're familiar with quite a bit of stuff on alpha but you're gonna connect so you're gonna select your you know vehicle so in this case dodge ram 1500 body computer select which year yours is currently and then you're gonna click connect so we are connected right now you can see here from the status and again this is gonna look pretty much the same on your tablet if you're using that and then once that is there you're gonna see this little car with the hood popped up if you're on a tablet it'll be in the bottom right hand corner you'll see a little car with its hood popped up you're gonna go over here and you're gonna select from the drop down all the way almost at the bottom backup vehicle configuration to a file so you're gonna click that one and then you're gonna hit start and it's gonna save it. If you're on the PC, this is why I'm using the PC for this application, because I feel like it's just easier to save files on a computer rather than go digging for them on a tablet. But you can see here, backup saved, and it saves it in your program files on a PC. If you have the tablet version, you're gonna have to like store it to a Google Cloud or something like that, so this just seemed easier for this, for my application. So I started it, it completed it, the file is saved, so I just saved it over here. I changed the name of it so that I can actually, uh, you know, know what it is. It's if you guys are curious, it saves it in C program files, and it tells you exactly where it is. Alpha OBD uh, logs, and then it saved it as config backup, and then with the date. And I just changed the file name so that it has a little bit more information. I put 2014 blue single cab uh, body controller backup file. So I have that. We're good to go. Now we can get in the nitty gritty. I'm gonna disconnect the power, swap out our body control module, show you guys where that's located. We'll swap it, and then we're gonna load the existing configuration file into this new one. Okay, so our negative terminal's off. Now we can go ahead and get acquainted with our bed that we gotta lay on for the next hour or so. Underneath, so the body control module on these things is buried. You can see it way up there, hopefully. Hopefully you can see it. So it is up in the top end of the dash. So it's held on by 10 mil screws. So we're gonna go ahead, disconnect the harness from there, and then we gotta get those four bolts out of there and uh, get it off. So you can see it way up there. We gotta get it out of there. So I'm gonna disconnect the plugs and then uh, we'll go ahead and get the four nuts that are holding it on removed. Okay, so I'm sure you guys can probably understand. I can barely fit my hands and head up in here. so trying to stick a camera in here amongst it um, there's a few that are just simple like push clips like this and then a lot of them have these latches on them so they have like this button that you have to press down in order to release the latch and the one on the top right when you're looking at this the one that's over up behind there that one is definitely a lot of fun but all the connectors are out. Now it's a matter of releasing the four nuts. So let me get in there and see how that goes. So one nice thing is the two top ones are slotted. So you just have to loosen those two. So I got those two loose. The bottom is not slotted. So those will have to come completely out. I uh, managed to get just using a little quarter inch ratchet and a 10 mil. You have to kind of get in there with your fingers. Um, they're pretty, they're not like seriously tight. So you can get in there, give it a little uh, loosen. And then I just got them with my fingers but they are way up there you guys the top of the dash so now i just got these two lower ones which i should be able to get my gun in with one of these extensions and hopefully she'll be out in a second so here we go with one of them man having this is a lifesaver right now well there is one nut out and now i don't know if i can get the camera in on this one but you guys get the idea 
should be able to get this in here with this extension and on there. There's a second lower nut removed. Now, I'm gonna play the game to get this thing out of here. <laughs> Which I can only imagine is gonna be a fun little chore. So let's see. I'm gonna get to drop down enough to get off the top two posts unless I have to remove those nets, which I might just do if this becomes much more of a struggle. It's almost off. Okay, I think I'm just gonna remove the top two nuts, you guys, because it'll just swing out of the way a little bit nicer. Almost might be on the home stretch. Okay, so you can see it's starting to come down, but let me wrestle this thing out of here. It's kind of hard to film and get this out of here all at once. <laughs> but I'm sure you guys get the idea. <clears throat> all right, it's mostly out. Let me get a couple hands on this and pull this thing out of here. Man, oh man. All right. Well, she does come out. So there it is, she's out. So now I'm gonna go ahead and throw this one in, obviously. Okay, so I got the new unit in there. It seems a little bit easier to go in. Just watch out for that little ground tab right here where my finger is. The one that goes for your parking brake because that one looks pretty easy to snap off. Or looks like it's just a little 8 mil screw to remove it. It might make it a little bit easier because you don't want to snap that guy off there. It's just a little copper tab. So I'm going to put my bolts in, click everything in, and then I'll go back to the programming. Alright guys, so everything's plugged in. It's not fun, but I'm only about half an hour into this. Um, one thing I will comment is you might have to, I haven't got the official bracket for the amplifier yet, so you might have to remove your amplifier, I've heard, but in my case, I didn't have to, and uh, now we're ready to put the power back on this thing and load up the new file. So reconnect our battery, turn our ignition back to on. Okay, so now we're gonna go back here and we're gonna connect to our body control module. I'll we'll let this do its thing, and then we'll go to the next step. Okay, so after we connect, what we're gonna do is, let's go to VinWrite, so we're gonna write our VIN in here. So obviously put your VIN down here and then we'll hit start. Now I'm gonna go over here to active diagnostics and I'm gonna go down to the bottom. If we can scroll here. So I'm gonna go down to the bottom, restore vehicle configuration from file. So we're gonna hit start. Then we're gonna select that file and we're gonna hit open. Down here it says started, please wait. So now it's loading the file. All right, so once it's finished loading, what you can do is I also took just the info log. So I have it here as well. And if you guys aren't sure how to do that, I can show you that as well. But it essentially just goes line by line through all of the settings. And you can go back in here to car configuration change where I'm at right now. And these all line up with the same thing. So you can see vehicle config one and over here in the list, we're at vehicle config three, but essentially all these are here. So vehicle configure one and all these options. And it just goes all in order, the same as your car configuration change. So if you guys wanna see how to pull that, when you're over here, that is in, so you see here, read system ID and read system status. So over there is where you can see all this stuff and you can get the same kind of readout that I have here. So if you go view log, you can see here, it just opened up a new one as well. So if you click view log, it'll open up what's in the BCM currently. You can copy this and actually the one that I have down here is the one that I saved with the old BCM just so I have all the exact settings, you know, yes, no, all those different things on all the settings on the vehicle. And the other thing I can do too is just going line by line when I see what each one is set to and you can just see if there's any uh, differences that you want to change. All right guys, and there you have it. So that is how you swap out your BCM on one of these Ram trucks. It's gonna be in the same location whether it's a two door or a four door truck. Um, and one of the reasons why we did that is so that we can get some of the features enabled. And there's some other options that are on the newer BCM. So that's why we went from the 2014 to the 2016 BCM. So we have some of those other options. One other thing to note too, is some of the older vehicles with this being a 2014, it's a little bit harder to write the VIN, so it might not take. So just be aware of that. And 
just double check all your settings and everything and then you should be good to go. Also, if you guys are interested in Alpha OBD, I will link down in the description where you guys can find that same OBD port that we used as well as the program so you can do the exact same stuff. Thanks for watching guys. If you guys enjoyed this, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you guys enjoy videos like this, check out all the other videos for these trucks on this channel. We got a lot of content here. Also putting the Hellcat engine in this thing. So lots to stick around for. Subscribe. We'll catch you guys on the next video.